Hi people, it's Ellie here. I had a day off today. I look gross. Um, I'm sitting in the corner of my bed and I have no real plans for this video. There's explanation of all this. While trying to come up for an idea for today's video, rude, um, I decided to write. For those of you who don't know, I am an avid writer. Writing has been a part of my life, my whole life. Not just part of my life, it's my whole life. I need to sneeze. <laughs> One of the hardest things you can do is write when you have nothing to write about. I try to write every single day. Phone! Oh my god. In writing every single day, I find that I never lose inspiration. And in the times when I have very little inspiration, I can always go back to what I've written before. So in my notebooks, this one in particular is the one I'm currently on, I write every single day. Each page um, is a quick little story. There's, I've talked about it before in a video, um, I'll leave the video there. There's a site called oneword.com and it literally gives you, okay, I'm about to mute you. It literally gives you one word and you have a minute to write anything that comes to mind about that word. Um, so I use oneword.com as a base for all my stories that I write every day. I don't necessarily take a minute, um, but I try to fill up at least half a page in this notebook. Basically, you just take the word, and the first thing that comes to your mind about that word, you just start writing. And you don't stop until you fill up a page, or you feel like it's a natural place to end. Generally, I tend to end on times that I feel is most effective. I like to cram in as much detail and as little detail as possible. Enough that it tells a story to paint a picture in your mind, but not enough to paint the full picture and where you have to create some of your own. Um, I thought I'd just read you one of these just to give you sort of an idea. Um, I literally just opened it up to a random page. Um, this one is from the 30th of June and the word was opportune. Waiting for the opportune moment to say hello to the girl sitting next to him was excruciating. Out of the corner of his eye, he watched as she silently moved the hair in front of her eyes to behind her ear. Gosh, she was effortlessly beautiful. Effortlessly. <laughs> My brother's home. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Come here. I'm currently filming. <laughs> Can you shut my door and stay quiet? <laughs> Thanks! One of the things I love about writing quick little stories like that is that it's so easy for these stories to intertwine with each other. It makes the writer in me really happy because I know in the future when I attempt to write another book, which I do a lot, if I'm struggling, I can just look back on these pages and get inspiration from this. To go with the opportune one, um, another one I wrote um, is based off the word study, um, and this was from July 8th. She glanced up at the boy perched on the other end of her round study table located in the middle of the library. Finals week brought everyone into the library with little seating options left available. It soon became increasingly more difficult to study for her final tomorrow morning when she noticed the boy across the table stealing glances at her as well. Those were two separate days. I think they're about a week apart, to be honest. Yeah, they're about nine days apart. Completely different stories in my mind, but they work so effortlessly together. It's those simple things that make me excited for what I'll create in the future. Here is a full page on the word distinct. Um, I'm not going to read it, but the feelings and emotions I put into that full page right there are so different to the emotions I put into the word engaged, which was just the day before on this page. When you write every day, you don't just look back at what you've written every day and think, oh, well, that's crap, that's good. You look back at your feelings and your emotions. Because when you see one word, anything can come to your mind. But that first thing that comes to your mind is the embodiment of how you're feeling. What you write and what you put down on that page is how you feel that day, and that's who you are that day. So having a full book with all of my emotions in it is incredible. I've kept so many notebooks or diaries essentially, but they're not about my day. I don't list what I've done or what I didn't like about that day. I just write what comes to mind, and I think 20, 50 years from now, when I look back on these books, 
I'm not gonna remember how I felt. I can understand it based off the feelings that I get when I read my writing. To me, writing isn't just creating or trying to entertain people. It's an emotion and it's a way of letting out feelings. Storytelling is the most basic form of communication and the feeling behind that and the satisfaction I get is why I write every day. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like if you like and subscribe and that's it. So I'm gonna go. Bye. Thanks for watching. Imagine Workshop is awesome. Would you like to subscribe? You've got mail. See you next time.